Leslie and I spent a couple days in Providence, Rhode Island at the end of this week. We stayed in a lovely Airbnb in East Providence as we were there to celebrate my niece's wedding. Right around the corner on Camp Street in East Providence, we noticed a small church with a long name. The church's name is the United Firstborn Church of Jesus Christ. Right next to the church building is the Camp Street Community Center, a ministry of this congregation. I read the motto that was lettered underneath a sign for the church and also underneath the Camp Street Community Center. Here's the sign, here's the motto, here's the vision. Someday, no one will ever go hungry. I thought as I walked past the church several times this week that the neighborhood of East Providence needs that church and that community center. Indeed, on Friday morning, there were several people lined up waiting for the doors to open so that they may get some food from that community center. If I were a member of that church with a long name, I'd want to give a lot to support that mission. Someday, no one will ever go hungry. This morning, we commit to God our estimate of giving for the coming year. I hope you've brought your card with you as we're about to give you time to complete it, if you haven't done so already. Now, if you forgot your card or didn't receive one, then, ushers, would you come forward now with cards to put in the hand of anyone who needs one. John, if we could have cards, just walk down the aisle. If you need a card, raise your hand, and our ushers will put a card in an envelope in your hand today. I want to thank everyone who gives today. You are a generous congregation. That I know. I've prayed that those of us who have never made a financial commitment before will do so today. If you're in a position to increase your giving, I ask you to do so for the coming year. Jan Martin, our fabulous office administrator, told me recently that her Methodist childhood pastor always told her congregation two things on Commitment Sunday. The first thing he told his people every Commitment Sunday was his age, And then he told the congregation what he and his wife were planning to give for the coming year. I like that, and I'm going to do the same today. I am 60 years old. Leslie and I have increased our estimate of giving this year. We'll joyfully and thankfully give $1,800 a month, which amounts to $21,600 for 2020. You should know that we also support several other missionaries and missions. Together with our commitment to this church and our giving to other mission organizations, we give more than 13% of our gross, that is our before taxes income. Leslie and I today rejoice that we get to give because we both believe that Morristown needs the First Presbyterian Church of Morristown to fulfill our mission vision, which is we aspire to be a beacon of God's love and truth. My friends, that is worth giving for today. Martin and Christine Bass will now sing. As they do, I want to invite you to pray with me. If you've not completed your estimate of giving now, would be the time to do it. Here's how I've been praying in these weeks, and months really, leading up to today. I've asked God not for a lot of money today. I've asked God that God would have our hearts, our minds, our wills, and the finances that God has entrusted to us. After worship, after Reverend Massengill has given us our sending blessing, please walk down to the front of the church to the communion table and place 
your estimate of giving card there. Some have already mailed their cards in. Others will have submitted their giving plans via our Church Center app. However you do it, thank you once again. And Sam, thank you so much for your presence, your ministry, and your preaching for us today. Will you pray with me? Let us pray. Eternal God, we offer ourselves to you today to build with us and do with us as you will. Relieve us of our bondage to self. Relieve us of our anger, our fear, our greed, our self-pity, our lust, our selfishness, and our apathy, that we may better do your will. Take away everything that stands in the way of our usefulness to you, to the community, and to the world, so that you, not us, may be known and glorified in and through this congregation. We pray this together, and we do so in agreement in Jesus' name. Therefore, let God's people say, Amen.